John Mayer has a ton of unreleased songs that he only played live a couple times. John is on a lot of secret collabs, but there's a lot of released songs on Spotify that John never plays and maybe you never heard. So come with me to investigate the songs. Hey, my name is Vinny and here on John Mayer's number 4 fan, we talk about our favorite artist John. There's a lot of live performances, compilations, a lot of shorts for you to send to your friend that doesn't like John and for you to show your points on why John is an amazing artist. So I invite you to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button so you become a part of this channel too and it actually helps the channel a lot for interaction subs thank you Go Easy On Me Go Easy On Me is part of acoustic solo compilation called the complete Mr. JC Mayer performances collection if you wonder why the C is John's middle name Clayton or Clayton uh, I don't know this was released in 2012 a little after the born and raised there are some acoustic versions of the Born and Raised album, like the classic Something Like Olivia video, this one. And there is one new song called Go Easy On Me. This song is super sad and allegedly is about Taylor Swift and that 2011 phase of John. John played this live in 2019, but it's a deep cut. So guys, I'm not gonna write captions for this video because otherwise I'll be forever editing. But you can turn on the YouTube captions, okay? And you can get all the links of the Spotify songs and YouTube songs on the description, okay? Say! Say is a single released right after the Continuum in 2006, October 2006, a month after the Continuum. John actually won a Grammy with the song, but I never understood why it is not on the Continuum album. So the song is a little lost on John's discography, and I never really like it as well, do you? Do you post John Mary covers, singing or guitar solos? That's a great way to share your work in music or even to share your own music because you get to people that are already listening to the artists that you're playing and there are fans like you. What you need to get more views and subs is to know how to talk to your audience and to be different from all the other people playing covers. And with that, I can help you. My name is Vinny and here on John Mayer's number 4 fan, you have a great opportunity to grow your views and fan base. Every week you can have your covers, guitar solos or singing posted here on the channel that has 300,000 plus views in a month and 1,400 active subs that are literally John Mayer fans. So you have your videos posted here as a short with copywriting and SEO skills edited by myself, inviting people to your own YouTube channel, Instagram profile, wherever you like. This will get you subs and most of all, will make your channel or profile to get to more people, will give you more reach. It's a very limited number of videos every week to not flood the channel. So it's the time to your music to get to more people. It's your call so to not miss this opportunity click the link in the comments see you village sessions the village session is a lot of like the 2012 completion it's acoustic versions of the continuum and the trio of songs it was released in 2006 and there is no new song but all different versions there's a slow dancing there's a good love is on the way acoustic it's really cool Inside Once Out, this is John's first EP. This EP is like a demo version of The Room for Squares and it was released in 1999, two years before The Room for Squares. But there's some unique songs that stayed only there and that Acoustic Neon was first shown here. But songs like Victoria, Love Zoom and Comfortable are so but so sweet. I really wish John played those more often. Man on the side slash covered in rain. Now the secret start. This is another live album. It's really popular the Any Given Thursday. Released in 2002. You for sure already know Covered in Rain and the legendary solo. But there's another beautiful song here, the Man on the Side. This song is beautiful. <laughs> And I really relate so much to those lyrics. I legit lived those lyrics though. <laughs> that song I love for you.
Tracing, another hidden song on a live album. Tracing is a part of the S Is live albums from 2004, the Heavier Things Tour. There's some of them on Spotify, so I'm gonna call this album S Is One. Tracing is a quite country love song and sounds a lot like Sertanejo, which is Brazilian country music. Yes, I'm from Brazil. I found out the song last year and I've never heard it before. I love it, love it. I love the country John. Hummingbird, a song of S Is Three, also from 2004. This song is also quite country and is also great. I've never seen John playing live ever ever against one, but I did like it. Try Try is the John Mayer Trio album. I'm sure you're familiar with, but this album is not on John's Spotify profile. It's on another profile, the John Mayer Trio profile. So it's a little harder for you to find it. And I wonder why it's separated from John's albums. He made the album a secret album, you know. It's a live album from 2005 and there's blues and blues and blues and it's amazing. You should definitely listen to the full album. So, was it really new for you all the songs? At least a couple of them was right. Let me know what you think about the songs and what you think of this commented video. And let's talk in the comments. Guys, don't miss any more exclusive John Mayer videos like this one by subscribing to the channel and hitting the like button. You'll be a part of a channel with a lot of John Mayer fans for you to talk to and you get great videos for sure. Thank you for all the support guys. Thanks for the comments, likes, subs, your interactions and actually you enjoying the videos makes not only the channel to grow but me to keep bringing you these videos without you here the channel makes no sense so thank you for being here and helping the channel to get to more fans like you god bless you guys and i'll see you soon